What's going on guys? It is Razor Eminent or Eminent League here, uh, whatever you really want to call me. Coming at you guys with my first ever commentary on the Razor channel. I couldn't be more excited. I just got into the clan and uh, so far everything's going great. So this is pretty cool. It's making my uh, making my first video ever on the channel. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. But anyways, what you're going to be watching is a beast crazy double KEM on Freight by Razor Klopitzer. He's going to be playing Domination with the Hunter ba Honey Badger. And he is a German player, so that's why the gameplay is in German. But uh, he wasn't solo, but he wasn't in a full par party either, so he had two other friends in his party. And then the first KEM was less than four minutes, but the second was around five minutes. So this is just a crazy gameplay. I don't know how these guys do it, but uh, it's a pretty cool gameplay that you guys are going to be watching. But anyways, what I'm going to be talking about isn't quite about the gameplay, and what it is going to be is a story. So what we're going to be talking about today is when I got hit by a car. <laughs> I know, it's pretty crazy. I can't believe it happened. But anyways, I survived it. I'm obviously here to tell the tale, and I'm going to tell you guys everything that happened. So let's get it straight into it. So it all started around a year and a half ago. Um, it was just a normal night. Well, not really a normal night, but it was a night consisting of me getting yelled at by my parents. You know, them telling me I play too many video games, them telling me my grades suck. Everything that a parent can yell at you for, I was getting it all. And um, so they're yelling at me, and I just got so frustrated and angry. And I just had a lot on my mind. It was a stressful week for me. It was sometime in the school week, and... I was just really annoyed. It was actually, well, it was actually more than a year and a half ago. It was my freshman year in high school, and I'm a junior now. So it was like about two years ago. And um, so I was just getting really frustrated. So I was like, you know what? Screw this. I couldn't drive at that point since I was a freshman. So I went and hopped on my bike and went to this local, like, bridge place. It was like a park kind of place. And I went and I just sat under this bridge. It was like my spot that I would always go when I was stressed out or just when I would wanted to get away from people. And I would just chill under this bridge, right? And so I went under, under there. I stood under there for a couple minutes and or maybe like around like 45 to, minutes to an hour. I just stood under there and just chilled. And my parents were like calling me and I was like, screw that. I'm not even going to respond to them. So they're kind of worried about where I was. And I'm like, all right, it's getting to the point where I'm probably going to have to go back now. So I got on my bike. I started riding. And this is where it gets crazy. I went and pulled up, and I looked to the left, and there was no one coming. So I'm like, all right, there, this is pretty good. Well, there was there was a car coming, but they were like, they had to be at least 200 feet away. I mean, they were far away, probably more than 200 feet. They were far away, but the speed limit was high in this road, so they were coming pretty fast. And I don't know if it's just because I had a lot on my mind or what, or if, like, like, I don't even know why it happened. But somehow I thought they were so much farther away than they really were, so I just went for it. And I started going, and all of a sudden I'm like, wait, this car's coming at me fast. So I kind of started to speed up, and before I knew it, it was too late. The car's headlights were a foot away from me, and boom, they just hit me. Um, they The speed limit on that road is 45. I don't know if they even had time to really slow down, because they weren't expecting it. It was at night, it was pretty dark. And um, the people just, they slammed their brakes, I heard screeching, and all of a sudden, boom, I get hit by a car. And all I can remember about it is seeing headlights flashing through the air, like a like stream of headlights, because my head was whipping around. The lady said I did a, I was like 10 feet in the air doing a backflip. I'm not even exaggerating this story. That's just what the lady said, and I remember just landing straight on my back, my head whipped back and hit the ground. And it was just, it was insane. All I remember is seeing those headlights flying past my head, because I was flipping through the air, literally. So... It was just absolutely insane. I landed on my back, and it's weird because the first thing I did was I got up and asked the lady in her car if she was okay. Like, what kind of question is that if you just got hit by a car? But that was my, my first instinct. Luckily, I was able to get up, no broken bones or anything. So I got up and I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, am I okay? Are you okay? And she, like, sat me down in her car, and she was actually a nurse from the hospital. So she started, like, feeling all around my body, and I was like, what the hell? What is she doing? But she was actually just, it was really smart of her. She was checking for any cuts or anything so she could plug them up before the ambulance got there. So anyways, she called the ambulance, they took me in, and I actually never ended up going to the hospital. She just talked, or the people just talked to me, and you know, they're experts at what they do, so they made sure I was okay, and it did turn out that I was okay. I actually had a big cut, or not really cut, more like a scrape, like road rash on my butt, which is actually luckily the only thing that happened to me. Um, I didn't even have a bump on my head, so I must have not hit my head that hard. I must have been able to uh, have that strong neck to hold my head up, but um, I didn't even get a bump on my head. All I had was that scrape on my butt. And, like, it was kind of like my lower back or upper butt, whatever you really want to refer to it as. But, um, 
So that's pretty much all that happened and then my parents took me home and then the next day I woke up and I was so stiff more stiff than I've ever been before and like they said that's what happened after a car crash they said they're warm knee like that's what happens after car crashes or big impacts like that is that you'll be so stiff like you can't even move and I was actually playing football at the time so I couldn't even go to football for like three weeks and I came back and I came to school and everyone knew about it somehow everyone's like did you get hit by a car holy crap and it just it blew over you know people forgot about it and uh yeah that's pretty much the time i got hit by a car i'm so thankful that i came out of it alive the people say the experts say not the experts but i mean the guys that are our experts the ambulance guys and the hospital people say it's literally a miracle that i'm still here today because the car was going like at least 35 miles an hour which is crazy i did a flip through the air landed on my back and i'm still here to tell the tale so i couldn't be more more thankful but that's pretty much it. That's when I got hit by a car. So if you guys enjoyed this commentary, if you could click that like button up or down below actually. And uh, check out my channel. Check out the, the Gameplay Guys channel. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all we got. So I will see you guys later.